Greetings from the 11th inning stretch. My name is Paul Epi, and this is the series wrap-up of the Kansas City Royals and the series preview for the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, as for the Royals, um, they took three of four against the Cardinals. Um, the Cardinals have struggled at home this season. That has become widely widely publicized, and um, there's something like 15 and 23 at home this season, which is very uncharacteristic of the Cardinals, you know, you expect them to defend their turf and they haven't done that this season. Um, part of it's been uh, at least against the Royals. Part of it was the bullpen. Part of it was the hitting part. Of it was starting pitching part. Of it was just tough luck. Um, right now they just have to sort of clean up their game. Um, there's not really one dimension that I'm seeing that has really let them down. It's sort of just a combination of things. Um, but we'll see if they can correct the, uh, right the ship against the Brewers this weekend. Uh, once again, they are in St. Louis, so we'll see if they can take two or three or take three or three from, from a pretty bad to mediocre NL Central team. Um, the Cardinals uh, starting pitchers will be uh, Jaime Garcia, Adam Wainwright, and Michael Waka. Uh, for the Brewers, it will be Matt Garza, Jimmy Nelson, and Chase Anderson. Uh, Injuries-wise, um, Aledmus Diaz has the, uh, has the swollen eye from when he took the foul ball off his, uh, off of his eye. Uh, he is day to day. And so is, uh, Steven Piscotti. He, he dove for a ball out in right field, uh, and he sort of bent his ankle or bent his leg the wrong way. Um, and he is day to day as well, but expect them to be back soon. Uh, no, no injuries for the Brewers. Uh, so getting to who's hot for the Cardinals. Um, there's not really one person who's hot. Um, everybody's hitting at least consistently well right now. Um, Yadier Molina's hitting better. Um, you know, Matt Adams is doing okay. He's doing fine. Brendan Moss had a home run against the Royals. Matt Carpenter had a home run against the Royals. Um, there's not really one person hitting um, great, but there's really not one person hitting too bad as well. Um, Matt Adams had the 0 for 6 game against the Royals. Uh, tough luck, you know, you're not going to have uh, two or three hits every game, so I'm not going to fault him for that. Um, but as for the Brewers, um, they just finished up a series against the Dodgers where the Dodgers took two or three in Milwaukee. Uh, but Ryan Braun has uh, has continued his, his fantastic season. He went four for 11 against the Brewers with six RBIs and one home run. Uh, he will probably be an all-star. He should be an all-star. Um, Jonathan, Jonathan Lucroy has been hitting really well. He should be an all-star as well. Uh, Jonathan VR, their, uh, their lead off hitting shortstop. He's having a hell of a season. Once again, might be an all-star. Um, but as for who's not hitting so well, uh, for the Brewers, um, I didn't see too much against the Dodgers. They were all hitting at least fairly well. Um, uh, Aaron Hill, their third baseman has, has hit a rough spot. Um, Chris Carter, their first baseman, is sort of like Brandon Moss. He uh, he either strikes out or hits a home run. And, and against the Brewers, he was you know striking out a lot. Um, but as for the um, but for the Brewers, you know, there's really not one person who's uh, hitting too well and not or not hitting too well uh, for them. Just like the Cardinals. Um, so we'll see if the Cardinals can write the ship at home. Like I said, uh, it'll be interesting to watch because if the Cardinals won't have any chance in the division, they need to win at home. That should be a given for the Cardinals. Um, that is it for the series wrap up for the Royals and the series preview for the Brewers. We'll be back next week when the Pittsburgh Pirates come to town. This is the, this is the 11th inning stretch and my name is Paul Epi. Good to see you.